We're at the Belmont getting ready for our flight to Malaysia. Today is Sunday, uh, the, uh, uh, the 16th. Sunday the 16th here in uh, Metro Manila or in Pasay at the Resort Royal Manila's Belmont Hotel. That's where we stayed the night getting the flight Terminal 1 and we should be in Malaysia in about uh, five hours from now. So what I hear is July is one of their biggest sales month. Uh, hence, super deals happening throughout the entire city of Kuala Lumpur. So yeah, we're enjoying our little roam around uh, the mall day for us. Everything's very cheap here. Cheaper than the Philippines, cheap. That's how cheap it is. I'm liking it. I am liking this place. Kind of glad I went here. All right, so we're inside a uh, amusement park, in an indoor amusement park. It's pretty big and uh, lots of things to do over here. I don't know where I'm going, actually. I have no <laughs> idea where I'm going. Up oh, the elevator. up the elevator. Wow, that is one huge roller coaster. <laughs> Benj is enjoying his time here. As you can see, the smile on his face. He is a big, big amusement park guy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not as big as Lotte World, but this has lots of things you can do still. Like lots and, of attractions and lots of things like fun to do. And it only cost about 30 bucks for us three. Two adults, one child. About uh, $40, I think. More or less, $40. So let's try it out. Welcome to Berjaya Indoor Theme Park here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The biggest too. Once again on uh, uh, the camera yeah and uh, we are here right now in our hotel in Kuala Lumpur KL show me some KL love thank you so much to everybody here in Malaysia of course Manny Pacquiao just won his match here as well so we're kind of <laughs> the thing right now 
you know, mabuhay ang Pinoy. All right. So, anyways, uh, right now we are at uh, our hotel in Furama. Um, we're gonna about to head down uh, to do a city tour. I'm gonna check out the uh, uh, the uh, very important, uh, well, popular tourist uh, sites here. Oh, we did the shopping already, so that's checked. Love the shopping here. Beautiful. Not just beautiful, but inexpensive. But uh, so today we are going to uh, see the uh, uh, beauty of uh, what KL has to offer. Yeah, let's do this. So we're in the van. We are headed over to what's our first stop? King Palace. King Palace. Palace of the King. We're going there first, guys. Palace. Just like that. Five minutes in, five minutes out. Next stop. I have no idea where. We'll find out from Celine. Back to the van. Kuala Lumpur. Oh yeah. Tourists can go in. It's prayer time, so we're gonna keep things down. Um, and just kind of tour the area. Second stop, the National Mosque here in Malaysia. You can actually hear them singing uh, from the inside of, this, of their mosque. Here in um, Malaysia, the two major religion groups uh, is Muslim and uh, Buddhists, so they make uh, most of the population here on or in here in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Very few uh, Christians, I think 5%. Uh, Hindu is also something that's pretty big here as well. So, yeah. Uh, National Mosque in Malaysia. Got to visit it. Didn't get to go inside, but that's cool. Let's get back to our van. Head over to our third stop we'll find out where the third stop is one of the reasons why I love traveling and getting these uh, travel videos out there to the world to show how culturally diverse we all are yet 
in a way we are pretty much alike, you know? There's Maya at the back. She's gonna get kicked out here pretty soon, trust me. They're a big football uh, country as well. Um, badminton. Badminton as well. Badminton is big here as well. Hockey. Hockey? Hockey. Yes. hockey. The ice hockey? Huh? Ice hockey? Yeah. Oh, the, no, no ice hockey. No, the, no, no, no. the normal hockey. Yeah. The one with your hand? Or the one no. with your foot? Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know that one. I'm good at hockey. Just the ice hockey and the ice with your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like you play. Uh, what about your language? What's your main language here? Did you speak? Is there like a Malaysian language? Malaysian language, English and Tamil. Okay, okay. So there's three. Yeah, it's three. Malaysian. Malaysian language. Sorry. <coughs> there's three main languages here. English. English, of course. We've got uh, Malaysian. And of course, your, your language. Which, uh, what do you speak? Yeah. What do you speak? What are you fluent in? Oh, Malay? Yeah. Malay? Malay. Malay, English. So how do you say... Uh, yeah, my family... Indian. Indian. Tamil, but you Tamil language. Yeah. Tamil language, okay. But with everybody else, you, you could speak Malaysian. Yeah, ah, that's cool. So maybe we could learn something from Salem today. What's yeah. a... What's a what, what, give me a word that we can learn. How do you say Malaysia is beautiful? Yeah, how do you say it? How do you say it in your language? In Malay? Uh, in Malay? Yeah. Malaysia is beautiful. Malaysia is beautiful. Malaysia is beautiful. Malaysia is beautiful. Yeah. Got that correct. Did I get that correct? Very beautiful. Malaysia is beautiful. Santi. Malaysia is beautiful. Yeah. Malaysia is beautiful. I have to memorize that down now. You sure you're not making me say a bad word? That's okay? That's a good word. <laughs> yeah, no, bad word. Uh, no bad words on there. Okay. I don't want to get. I don't want to get shot. You know. But Malaysia Shanta. Sangat. Malaysia Shanga Shante. Shante yes. uh, I got it. Malaysia Shanga Shante. Bench, can you say that? No. <laughs> say it. Very hard to say. So here we are. First stop. Uh, I mean, sorry. It's like the third stop. Uh, I see it with my eyes. The Petronas Twin Tower is huge. Yeah, pretty big, man. Pretty big. So we're here right now at Petronas Twin Towers. Uh, right behind me, as you can see, there it is. Nice and tall. They're just twinning here in Malaysia. So Petronas Twin Tower is the biggest twin towers in the world yeah they used to be the biggest building they're like the sixth or seventh i don't know but i know they are the first uh biggest twin tower in the world right behind me can't really see it because it's too damn big but let's try our best
So the infamous Patronus Tower uh, is right behind me. It's super huge, world's biggest twin towers. And uh, that's all I know about it, really, seriously. You know, all I know is it was made from a Venezuelan architect who uh, built this. Uh, and it's situated here in the, the heart of KL or Kuala Lumpur. It's huge, man. Didn't go up, line was long, but we did go to the mall, which is in the bottom floor. I think the first four floors uh, was nothing but um, uh, shopping uh, malls and uh, shops. The entire building is made up of the different uh, um, uh, offices or corporations uh, from around the world in this tower right here. Yeah, okay, we're going back to the van. Ooh, it is humid here. Patronus Tower right behind me still. You only see on TV now. Well, I got to see it in my own eyes. Bye-bye, Patronus Tower. <laughs>
new to my tongue, all right? So, um, we're gonna start off with, well, I have four. Of course, I have my water. I need my water in case uh, this gets out of hand. But, so I have four different chips, and or two different chips and just snacks uh, um, that I chose downstairs and wanna try it out, of course. When you come to a foreign country that you've never been in before, uh, it's something that you probably should do. Try their snacks, you know, feel at least how it is to be a local, at least by the snacks, right? So today we are going to try um, uh, four different snacks that I chose downstairs. We're well, just gonna do a taste test and see how it goes. All right, so first off, I'm gonna start off with uh, this. It looks like it is a uh, uh, anchovy flavored chips. All right, so this is basically your, well, anchovies basically is bagong, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and so I'm gonna try this out. Delis uh, anchovy flavored chips. Next up, we have, uh, this one's simple, just has a, uh, made by the same company. This is a hot and spicy flavored snack. Now, I don't understand what Malaysia, what the word is in Malaysia, it says snack, snack, bur, burisa, pedas dan peram pa. That's a tongue twister. Hot and spicy chips. Then this one actually looks familiar. I mean, if you just look at it, right here, um, is, well, it looks like pickle papaya, right? If you're from Guam, you know this. Pickle papaya, or they call this, makanan pilihan. Makanan pilihan, so, suka ramai. Suka, sounds like vinegar, right? So it probably is, um, uh, pickled papaya in a bag. And then, of course, here's the winner. Um, this is the satay jellyfish. <laughs> Just saying it makes me kind of want to not eat it. Satay jellyfish um, on a stick, basically. You sold this in the, uh, the market and um, it's supposed to be dried jellyfish on a stick, satay jellyfish. I hope my stomach goes well with these snacks and uh, let's just see. All right, I got my water. Thank you again to Furama. Now the water they have here does not have those locks. Like literally it's, you know, when you buy water, the hotel usually has that click. It doesn't. This is, I don't know if it's even safe. But anyways, so we're gonna start with uh, anchovies. Anchovy flavored chips. Uh, yeah. uh, anyways, I don't know. I don't taste the fish. Sweet Chex Mix, kind of, yeah, sweet. I don't really get the anchovy. So I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit uh, on the spicy side, but it's okay. Uh, I think I would probably crave for, but yeah, I mean, after a while, you start to taste the anchovy. All right, next up, we have the hot and spicy, hot and spicy flavored snacks. Made by Meow Meow. Hope I'm not eating cat. Oh man, it's oh. tough. All right, Filipino you know, way don't work. Oh, there you go. Oh. Spicy, hot and spicy. Let's see how spicy it is. Oh, it's pretty good. 
Oh, see, I can do that. It is kind of spicy. Don't have a familiar taste to it. Like I've eaten it. Ooh, that is spicy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Spicy. Okay, that was pretty spicy. Didn't have a familiar taste to it. It sort of tasted like you know, the Filipino chips, the cloves, clovers, sorry, clovers, but with a very spicy seafood taste to it. You know what I mean? It's very spicy. Very good. Pickled papaya, Malaysian style. Let's try this out. Oh man, my mouth is already watering. Uh, ooh. I can smell the... <sighs> Malaysia, don't know how they make their pickle pie. So here it goes. Ooh. It's on the sweeter side. You can smell the vinegar, but it's sweet. If you're used to the guam pickle papaya, you'll be like, you know, that sour taste right before you eat it. You already know you're in for some sour power but this is pretty sweet i can do this yeah you can still taste the papaya it, this is what it tastes like all right let me explain it to you guys oh, this is pretty good i like this yeah my tongue to get used to this it has a sweeter taste to it the papaya is very tasty um, but you don't have that sour feeling, you know that? Where you make that face? No, you don't have that. It's, it's uh, sort of like mm, sweet and sour. Plum, except in a vinegar sauce, if you know what I mean. And it's sweet. More on the sweet side. It's good. I can do this. <laughs> mm. Dun, dun, dun. This looks weird. A weird texture to it. Like you're eating cardboard. But it tastes like crawfish or squid. Very sweet. One more. I think that's good enough for me, right? One more. Put you back into the bag. Very, very odd to have jellyfish on a stick. Let's get back to this stuff. Wow. It just resets the whole palate. Well, there you go. I got to try some of their snacks here in Malaysia. What I do love about this place is the food very very affordable i mean we're talking about donald's being more affordable than any mcdonald's i've ever been in or actually even burger king any fast food chain this has to be the cheapest place to buy food you know versus all the places i've been um food as well in the market i mean basically everything here is cheaper than the philippines and i thought philippines was like yeah that's your dollar can go far in the Philippines. You go way farther here in Malaysia. And I'm talking about, I bought about, I think it was five different dishes in the uh, mall from noodles to fried rice to roast duck and all that stuff. Five. And I spent, get this, believe it or not, $10 for all of that. So if you're a foodie like me, this is the place to go. Snacks, very, this here cost me three bucks. All of this is like three dollars. I did the math. This is three bucks, man. You gotta love Malaysia. That's my tasting segment. Um, hopefully in my other videos, we do more of these um, for foreign places that we go to, especially uh, Asia. I love Asian snacks. Seriously, we are the king of snacking. 
we Asians know how to snack, I'm telling you, man. When we don't do french fries or that, we do these weird stuff, you know? Like, this is normal to a lot of us Asians. Jellyfish, well, not really normal meat, but jellyfish on a stick, come on now, man. That's normal stuff. But anyways, thank you. What's up? Everyone, thank you for uh, joining me in this awesome uh, uh, vlog here in the beautiful city of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. I had a magnificent time. Uh, Benj, come over here, man. Benj had a great time as well. He enjoyed his stay here. If you are into like um, uh, shopping, uh, just eating and just having tons of activities, at a very affordable price, this is the place you can go. I think we went bowling, it was like $2, am I correct? Yes, about, about $2. Per uh, game. No, not per game. Oh, no. For the entire two games that we played there, yeah. right? And, and, and we had McDonald's, it was like $2 for a big meal. It's crazy, man. <laughs> sushi, we had uh, a rotary sushi last night, it was, I think it was a total of a 20 bucks uh, USD, and, and which would cost us about 80 bucks in Guam if we were to eat there. Like what we ate last night was, it went up to my throat. Like everything was like, ah, it was so much food for me at a low, low and affordable price. I was amazed by this place. Shopping, like I said, tons of things here are a lot cheaper than it is in the States or in Guam or even, even in the Philippines. Can you believe that? Even yeah. in the Philippines, it was, it was that, inexpensive so july i think is, is one of the best times to come here it's it's not raining it's hot um you know lots of sales going on in the mall we are situated in faram hotel faram hotel is uh, uh a, not too far away from all the major uh shopping centers all right and landmarks around here uh we we, we went uh, around yesterday it was just around this whole area i mean seriously this is a great place to stay we're exactly at the furama bukit bintang am i saying that correctly can you say it no. <laughs> he can't say it. Uh, Furama Bukit Bintang. Repeat after me. Furama, Furama Bukit Bintang. One more time. Bukit, I don't know. I'll say it again. Furama, Furama Bukit, Bukit Bintang. Bintang. Yeah, your turn. Furama Bukit Bintang. Oh, yeah, I got it, dude. All right, so uh, for... For, for this stay, this this awesome vacation that we did as a family, um, and, and this awesome uh, stay here at Furama and, and Kuala Lumpur, we're heading back to Manila, all right? Uh, more vlogs coming your way, don't worry about it. Me and uh, and Bench here, we're, we're up to more traveling, all right? We're gonna do more traveling and more reviews of, of just different places around the globe in the future. So, don't forget to hit that like button and... Subscribe. <laughs> don't forget that bell. Oh, yes. The bell is important. Bing! Oh. All right. And keep it always. We're here with DJ Cure Vlogs and Bench Vlogs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and Bench Vlogs. All right. That's it for us. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace. Peace.